Hi, welcome to Heart of the Home. We're here at Meadow Hall in Meadow Event Park in Doswell, Virginia, where we get to play with great Virginia food every week. Today, we're gonna play with some oysters. Uh, Virginia oysters are, without a doubt, the finest oysters on the planet. So make sure you look for Virginia oysters when you go shopping for them. Right, we're going to be making a really interesting dish today, though. It's called an oyster pot pie. So it's very different. I've got some heat started on the bottom of this pot. I'm going to add some bacon. All right, we're going to let that cook until it's crispy. All right, now the bacon is all nice and crispy. I'm going to add some butter because we need a little bit more fat in there. You can never have too much fat. Right. There we go. Now, as soon as we throw the vegetables in, it's going to lower the temperature. So I want to make sure all the fat's melted before we get to that point. Now we're going to throw in some celery and some mushrooms. And we're going to wilt these pretty much. And there's a little bit of fat still in there. We're going to take advantage of that in a minute with flour to build a roux. We're going to add some garlic first. Keep it stirring good so it doesn't burn. Now I'm going to add the flour. Got a little bit of flour in there and stir it around as we add it because we don't want it to lump up. Generally won't lump up because of the fat that's in there. Now what we've done is built what's known as a roux right in there and now we're going to add a little bit of white wine to kind of pull some of the stuff off the bottom. I can hear that singing. Soften the stuff on the bottom and now we're going to add the heavy cream to make our sauce. And if you go to the website, either the Farm Bureau website or mine at chefjohnmaxwell.com, the amounts of all of these ingredients are up there. Now I just need to get hot. We're actually going to want this to come to a boil. Okay, it's starting to thicken nicely now. We're going to let it cook a little bit longer, maybe two minutes. And we're going to add the other ingredients. Okay, this is just about there. Now I'm going to add some lemon juice. Give it a little sharpness, a little acidity to help balance out the flavor. I'm going to throw some green onions in there and some peas in there. Who ever heard of a pot pie without peas? Huh? Now I'm going to add the oyster liqueur. This is the, what was drained off the oysters. We're going to let that boil for a couple of seconds. And now, the oysters. This is going to take about three or four minutes to simmer till those oysters are started to curl up. So now I'm going to season this with a little bit of nutmeg. Okay. Just a little bit. And a little bit of cayenne pepper. A little more than the nutmeg. And some Old Bay seasoning. I know that Old Bay is made in Maryland, but it's a Virginia recipe and they stole it. Almost forgot the pimento. All done and mixed up and now I'm going to add this to these pots. Trying to make sure I get oysters in every one of them. This really smells good. I've got my cutter. And I'm going to cut a circle for each one. 
Now, depending on the size of the container that you've got, you're going to need to cut a puff pastry, or actually you could use biscuits on top of this too. It works really good. I did some with biscuits last night. Right. You just set that on top of it. Now we're going to put it in the oven. This is all cooked. So all we're going to be looking for is to puff this dough up and brown it off a little bit, which should take about 10 minutes. All right, here we go. We've got the oyster pot pie. It just looked delicious. And I'm going to take and tip one of these out so you get a chance to see what it looks like inside it. You get all the nice colors of the vegetables in there. You got the beautiful oysters, nice crispy crust. It's delicious. Great little luncheon. So join us next week on Heart of the Home, where we get to play with great Virginia food. Recipes from the Heart of the Home can be found on the Virginia Farm Bureau website at VAFB.com, as well as on Chef Maxwell's website at ChefJohnMaxwell.com.